All right, fifth graders, I have been working on the best self-portrait you are ever going to see. It also happens to help you with math. Okay, so here it is, my masterpiece fractional me portrait. <clears throat> and basically all that you do is um, color in squares, full squares, to make a little um, self-portrait and using different colors. And I recommend that you um, make it an even number of squares that will help with your fractions later on. So um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares for my hair and four fleshy colored ones for my face and then two more for my hands. And then I have six for my shirt, six for my pants, and four for my shoes. So altogether, that makes 30 um, squares that were used for my self-portrait. And what you're going to do is write a fractional value for each color. So for example, we already said there's eight squares that are colored in red. And I wrote that fraction right on my paper, eight out of 30. 30 is the total, the denominator, eight is the numerator, the amount that we're talking about. And then I simplified it. <clears throat> and I did that the same way we've been simplifying fractions all week. I made a list of the factors of eight, one, two, four, and eight. I made a list of the factors of three, of 30, one, two, three, five, six, 10, 15, 30. And then I looked for which is the greatest common, and that just happens to be the number two. So then I divided numerator and denominator by two, and that got us to four fifteenths. So you're gonna do that same thing for your fractional me. Draw your little port self portrait. Make sure that you use squares, full squares, and then you can go in and add your little details later. Um, and make sure that you make an even number of squares that will help to give you an easier time simplifying your fractions. And I put in two fractional me papers, you'll notice, and that's because I thought some of you creative math-minded people might like an extra challenge. So I created a fractional dog, fractional puppy, cute, I know. Um, and then I did the same thing, found the fraction of the whole drawing for each color and then simplified those fractions. So you could create your own fractional me and then create your own fractional creature too and be sure to share.